So before we get into your whole like origin in the industry, I want to go further back to when you first had feelings that you were trans. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So I'd say like the earliest moment is like kindergarten. And I think I was maybe like four. Mm -hmm. I was born in November. So I was Mm -hmm. like the cutoffs. My mom put me in early. Mm -hmm. So I remember I had like pink scissors and a Barbie backpack. And I like always hung out with the girls. I never wanted to play any of the kickball or Mm -hmm. handball or whatever those stupid things were. I always like wanted to play like with the girls. And I, I don't know, I kept getting called like these like mean names since kindergarten. And I didn't know what it meant. Mm -hmm. Like I just knew, like I knew what I liked. Mm -hmm. So I think I've always known since a young age, that's just the earliest memory I have. Yeah, I've always liked girly things. I always wanted Barbies, played with Barbies and... I had them at home, like my aunt, I grew up with my aunt and my grandma, so they would let me do all that, but like behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. So my mom and my dad, like, were not into that. They would kind of take me away from that and dress me in baggy clothes and kind of like mask it. Mm -hmm. But just like the way I acted and the way I was, like everybody, even if I was in a baggy skater outfit, people knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, so you said that you were, you lived with your aunt and your grandmother mostly? Yeah. So my parents had me in high school. Oh. So they were very young and they obviously didn't make it, you know, so I don't ever remember them being together ever. Um, So my grandma and my aunt lived with my grandma. She was like 14 at the time. Mm -hmm. So she was like watching me while my grandma was working and then. Okay. Yeah. So do you think that they were more accepting of you than your parents were? Definitely. Yeah. They would definitely buy me Barbies. And I remember um, I did gymnastics. My whole family did gymnastics, but I didn't like doing the guy events. Like I didn't want to do parallel bars. I didn't mm-hmm. want to do high bar. And I just remember like being at the gym, my mom was a gymnastics coach. So she would just kind of take me there to basically be like free babysitting. Mm-hmm. But I would always be like on the beam and then I was always get yelled at, say mm-hmm. like, get off the beam or stuff like that. Because girls aren't supposed to, yeah, or girls, guys aren't supposed to yeah, be on the beam. Girls yeah, are. Yeah. Okay. So, but um, they all had leotards growing up. So I remember like my grandma would like show me all my mom's stuff and like she was a cheerleader and things like that. So I'd always like put on her like cheerleading outfits at home and they were so big. I'd use like a hair scrunchie and like <laughs> scrunchie it all up in the back and do my little gymnastics team with our gymnastics floor routine with like music because guys don't use uh, music for oh, floor. Okay. So I would just put on a music that I liked and do my little tumbling down the hallway and yeah. Yeah, wow. But I always knew. You always knew. So how did your like grandmother explain to you why you had to keep it behind closed doors? Like, did she communicate it to you in a way where she was like, I'm just trying to protect you from what you're going to deal with in the outside world? I don't think she really did. She kind of had my mom do it. So she had my mom put me in boxing. Mm-hmm. So I was in boxing in like third grade because I picked Irish dancing. So I did Irish dancing and gymnastics Mm -hmm. at a very young age. And my whole family wanted me to do gymnastics because my whole family did it. And I love gymnastics, but I hated all the guy events. Mm -hmm. So I chose dance and my mom like really hated that. Yeah, no. So I was just asking because, so your grandmother let you do stuff behind closed doors, but then like, was there a way to- She didn't want me to get like beat up because like, I was like, growing up in the 90s. Mm -hmm. So like back then, like nobody knew about like trans or maybe not like, there was just not talked about, Mm -hmm. you know? And if it was, it was very hidden. And where I grew up was very like, very white community where like there wasn't really any other culture. Mm -hmm. It was just like rednecks and like trailer trash. And that's kind of like where I came from, you know? So it was just like, she just didn't want me to get beat up or get hurt. Mm-hmm. So they kind of put me in like boxing just to like have that like safety. Oh, so that you could defend yourself. Yeah. But I mean, like kind of getting a little bit older, they were just kind of like, I'm just going through a phase is what mm-hmm. my mom would say. Like, I'm just going through a phase mm-hmm. and I'll get over it. Like she really wanted me to get married to like, a girl and like wanted me to marry like our next door neighbor. Like the whole like, you know, small town American mm-hmm. like thing. And I was just like, that's, not gonna happen yeah but yeah i don't think they really um kind of like cared too much as long as i was safe yeah 
They probably also didn't know how to, because there's a lot of conversation now around it, but there wasn't back then. Yeah, I just don't think they knew what to do. What to do. Like, nobody's ever been in that position before. Like, I was my mom's first kid. She was super young. You know, mm -hmm. my dad wasn't there. And then my grandma was like, what the fuck? But, like, yeah. she was just like, as long as you're happy, like, and you're not hurting anybody, like, do you? Yeah. That's great to have at least somebody who was kind of aligned on your side in that way. Yeah, no, it, they definitely were supportive and kind of through the whole like transition, like everything, they've always been very supportive. So I've been very lucky. Mm -hmm. And I see it like now that she was just like trying to protect me putting in these masculine clothes because yeah. if I wasn't acting that way, at least I would look that way. Mm -hmm. Just because I remember going to restaurants at like five, six years old and they'd be like, oh, your daughter's so pretty. And my mom's like, that's my son. Like, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. like, so I think she would just kind of, protect me in that yeah. aspect but I didn't really like I guess it helped in like a certain way because I didn't really get I got beat up maybe once but like you know other than that it was yeah just name calling which couldn't have felt good no I literally had to switch schools every single year because I just I didn't know you know like yeah. I didn't know what this I know what it meant but like I was like I'm not like that like yeah. I like guys but you know I didn't understand it yeah it's kind of like a mind fuck for everybody I guess 